Hey everybody, Steve Spohn here with Spohn Performance and wanted to give you a little video tour of our new RRX series tubular front lower A-arms. These are available for the 1982 to 1992 GMF body Camaro and Firebird. 1978 to 1987 GMG body which is your Monte Carlo, Regal, Malibu, etc as well as the 1982 to 2004 GM S10 and S15 truck and blazer uh, two-wheel drive the rear-wheel drive models there are some difference between those three but uh, for the purpose of this video there the A-arms themselves are, are the same there's just uh, you know some of the minor details of them are a little bit different between the models but this video tour definitely covers all three of them. These are state-of-the-art uh, tubular A-arms. We've definitely taken things to the next level. They are 100% computer designed. So what we do is we take a 3D scan of the factory A-arm. And then we take that scan, import it into SolidWorks, and we use that as the basis for designing our 3D model of the A-arms and once we have our 3D model designed, tweaked, moved things around, changed how we want it to be then we'll use that same data to actually design and build the jig as well so you know accuracy is within like the five thousandths of an inch range It's it's mind-blowing it's pretty incredible so here we've got one sitting here and I've got a factory coil spring mounted in it just to give you an idea of what everything looks like together we're building these out of inch and a half 120 wall seamless DOM tubing that's for all the tubes your two main tubes as well as your cross shaft it's all inch and a half tubing and I'll start here, I, I brought some parts here just to give you a better visual reference this is the spring pocket and we're CNC machining these out of 6 inch seamless D1 tubing it's a, it starts out as a 3 16th wall tube and we keep that ID um, down here at the very bottom 5 8 of an inch height from the end of the tube up we keep that so it keeps the spring it's just a hair bigger than the uh, the OD the, the five and a half inch factory coil spring and that helps keep this hold the spring tight and keep it nice and centered we also have a piece of four inch tube a short piece you can see there welded to the bottom of the plate and again that's so that the spring the inside of the spring will slide down over that tube keeps the spring perfectly centered inside the spring pocket. Then the rest of the way up we machine uh, a lot of that 3 16th wall off just to drop weight. Doesn't need to be that heavy. Okay, another feature you'll see. Um, hopefully I can get yeah there you go. We have a spring ramp. We laser cut and form so that when your spring goes in there it's got a full seat to ride on you know the bottom of the spring isn't perfectly flat it coils up and around so that way your spring is fully seated all the way around the base of the spring seat makes it stronger makes the spring perform better as well and then for the G-Body and S10 application that's your shock mount by the, if you're familiar with the factory A-arm looks just like it, same cutout. you get your two ball holes for the shocks T-bar you'll actually remove the shock right through the bottom of that take the two bolts out for the T-bar and pull the shock right out through the bottom of the A-arm so that's just like the factory A-arm there and then over here I have one sitting with a QA-1 Pro coil, coil over setup, <clears throat> just to show you that it works the same. 
So for your G body and S10 guys, if you want to run the factory spring, it's going to drop right in. You want to run aftermarket lowering springs, they're going to drop right in. You want to switch over to a coilover system, it's going to drop right in. They work with anything. We designed these so that no matter what setup you have or you may have in the future, you're not going to have any problems. Everything will bolt right in. And then I have, uh, here I have some of the gussets that get welded in that we'll show you. 316 steel. Um, this is the uh, sway bar and link mount. Set this over here where it's easier to see. And you can see that's formed. It's all in one piece, no welds. And this is our front 316 gusset. And you can, you can see, if you look on here, we got a little tab sticking out the bottom. And that just pops right in the slot. It's like building a puzzle. You stick that in. That's one of the guys building these in a jig. I mean, they literally just go together like a puzzle. You couldn't do something wrong if you wanted to. So it keeps things strong, keeping everything formed as one piece, keeps things accurate, making everything snap together. Again, just showing you some of the advanced manufacturing and design features that we're putting into these things. Okay, well we'll start in the front here. We got a, a very high quality premium ball joint, greasable of course. When we flip it over you'll see the grease fitting. It has a very extra thick wall neoprene boot. So it's going to be much more tear resistant than a, you know, a standard uh, cheapy ball joint. They hold up really good. And then this little plate you see welded on the tube over here, that's your steering stop. Okay, they can look a little bit, bit different. That's one difference between the G body S10 and the third gen F body. The length of the steering stop's a little bit different, but for the most part they look the same. And that's where your spindle's going to come and contact that. If you look at your factory arm, it has a steering stop sticking off the side of it just like that. So that keeps the same steering radius, same as a factory, so that you don't have to worry about any changes there. Alright, and then another feature that we have on these RRX Series A arms that's really cool is our front sway bar end link, and this is included. It's not an option, there's no extra charge, they come with the A arms. Um, the top of the end link looks just like we're used to seeing. You've got two polyurethane bushings that sandwich the coin on the front sway bar. The bottom of it, we have a spherical setup. We're using a chromoly Teflon Kevlar line spherical joint, self lubricating. And that makes a huge difference in performance. As you can see, your sway bar is going to always be free to articulate and move as it wants, when it wants, how it wants, with no bind. And that's, that's a big advantage. You're not seeing a lot of this on the market. It's race inspired, but it really makes a difference and, and we really like the way, the way that these came out. Okay, and then next to that we've got a polyurethane bump stop. Again, you got an inch and a half tubular upriser and then you got your polyurethane bump stop that bolts on top of it. That maintains your suspension travel. You don't have to worry about things bottoming out. It's at the same height as the factory A-arm. No changes on that. Okay, then I'm going to pop this spring out of here just to make it easier to move this A-arm around. Okay, and here's the spring pocket that you know we just discussed earlier. There's your spring ramp. Your shock mounts for the G-Body and S10. Then this little hole you see here, that's just a drain hole we put in there. You don't have to worry about this pocket filling up with water. The water will always be able to run out of there. And then you can see between the spring pocket and the tubes of the A-arm, we have a completely gusseted. These are 316 steel gussets that are 100% MIG welded. So you've got one on that corner. You've got one on this corner, and then you've got one up front that ties everything together. It ties the spring pocket, the ball joint tube, and the A-arm tubes. 
Swells the soy bar and link mount. It ties everything together. All of this is 100% solid welded on the top. These are complete solid weld beads. These A-arms will hold up to whatever you're going to throw at them. It doesn't matter if you're an all-out road race car, you're autocrossing, or you have a daily driver. Uh, you know, we're in Pennsylvania, we just came out of a really harsh winter. Roads here are horrible. These A-arms will hold up. They are made to take a, take a beating. Okay, and then here we've got poly this version we're showing you here has polyurethane bushings. I'll try to show on the end here that they're fluted. So that makes the grease easy to flow all the way from one end to the other around the, the grease fitting. Make sure you got good lubrication. And then we have gussets, again, 316 steel, CNC laser cut and formed. That tie the bushing tubes onto the main A-arm shafts just to reinforce things and make them bulletproof. Probably not needed, but hey, why not? They're 100% TIG welded, those gussets. We TIG weld these gussets. Um, we TIG weld the bushing tubes to the A-arm tubes. And we also take weld the ball joint tube up front there to the A-arm tubes. That's all TIG welded. Then everything else tying in the gussets and the, and the spring tube we make weld. We do offer option of Delrin bushings as well in place of the polyurethane for you guys that are doing some serious road racing or autocrossing. You want that zero deflection, we do offer the option of Dell run bushings. They're a little harsher on the street, that's why we offer them either way. Okay, I'll flip it upside down just so you can take a look and see what it looks like under there. There's your ball joint, you can see the grease fitting, easily greased on the car. There's your steering stop. The underside of the front gusset, we're welding the corner, we're wrapping all the corners. We don't solid weld underneath, we just wrap the corners. Bottom of the spring pocket, that is also 100% TIG welded. This plate uh, here welded to the tube, 360 degrees around there, is a complete TIG weld. And then we weld it heavy, the spring tube underneath. As you can see, we're welding it all across here, down around, wrap your corners into the gussets. All the corner gussets are wrapped. Same thing here, we're coming all the way up, coming across here, down and wrapping your corners. These are heavy duty. If you're looking for an A-arm with no flex, it's going to plant them front tires. You're looking at them right here. Grease fittings for the bushings. They're sticking out the bottom so you can grease them real easy right on the car. Okay, on this version here, there's not a lot of weight savings over the factory arms, as you can probably imagine looking at these. They weigh about the, about the same. So you're not, these are not built to save weight. They are built if you want to build your car to go into a corner like a, a all-out road race car, NASCAR, I mean that's what they're built for. I mean between all the gusseting, premium materials we're using, and the welding we're doing, you're getting zero flex out of these A-arms. Zero. You put Delrin bushings in there, you got a full race set up. Like I said earlier, they'll work for anything. You're a guy who just goes to cruise nights, you got a daily driver, you're building an autocross car, drag racing, or you got an all out NASA SCCA road race car. They're going to hold up to whatever you got. I'll show you how how nice our spring ramp works here. 
Okay, I drop the spring in. I just clock it until the end of the coil spring bumps against the end of that spring ramp. So I'm clocking it, boom. And there you can see, I let go of it. It is standing up perfectly straight on its own. It's 100% support, supported on the base, that's why. Give you one more quick look before we go here of the coilover setup. Again, this is the exact same A-arm. The only difference is I grabbed a QA1 Pro Coil uh, for a G body and S10 off the shelf and bolted it on here. There's your T-bar. Hard to get the camera in there. Your T-bar mounts to the to the bottom shock mounts. And then of course with the coil ever set up, the spring's gonna mount right onto the shock body. Shock body's threaded with a spring seat. You can adjust your ride height up and down. And then the top of the spring is made to mount into the factory upper spring mount on the frame. So that's a nice setup too. Because your ride height adjustability, the shocks are 18 way adjustable. You can get single adjustable. You can get double adjustable where you can do your compression and rebound independently. And they also have an R series where you're only adjusting the rebound uh, for drag racing. So that's the new Spawn Performance RRX series tubular front lower A arms available for the 82 to 92 third gen F body Camaro Firebird, 78 to 87 GMG body cars, and the 82 to 04 two wheel drive S10 truck and blazer. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve Spawn, and we'll see you at the track.